Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I bid you a warm welcome to the graduating ceremony of the Dominica Grammar School for 2021. I'm happy that you could have joined us and do enjoy our program as we celebrate our 76 graduating students. And loving God, we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to truly be women and men for others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place to serve others, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have, and we ask you to grant them solace and strength. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our community with these young men and women while they were here. Though they are leaving our campus, we know that they will always be with us as part of the DGS family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created remain strong despite any distance. We ask this in your name and in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. I am always pleased to give the report for the school year during our graduation ceremonies. In September, we moved from Google Classroom to Mask Classrooms, armed and ready to meet the challenges of the new school year. As a staff, we were nervous, apprehensive, and unsure of how we would cope as we tried to enforce the COVID-19 protocols. I can tell you that was no easy task. In fact, I even felt that we needed a mask allowance, not to purchase masks, but to enforce the rules of mask wearing. However, for the grace of God, we made it through the entire school year, never missing a day. Here we are today, different circumstances, but with strong minds and in healthy bodies, celebrating our 76 graduating students. Besides the aspect of masking and keeping social distancing, the school year was the usual, never a dull moment one. We started with a school population of 730 students. That number did dwindle by the end of the school year to about 713 students. Students migrated, they moved to other learning institutions, and some dropped out. There were no additions to the staff of 73. We remained constant. Our CSEC results showed promise, with the school achieving a 77.6% overall pass rate, with 13 subjects recording 100% pass rate. The school registered for 26 subjects last year. Our top performers were Jamali Joseph with eight grade ones and one grade two, Noah Alfred with seven grade ones and one grade and two grade twos, 
Janella Burgos with seven grade ones and one grade two, and Aliyah Joseph with seven grade ones and one grade two. When the Ministry of Education released the CSEC results, some of these results were not available since due to some SBA issues, there were no grades for principles of accounts, but this was rectified later. Although our core curricular activities were seriously impacted by the COVID-19 protocols and sharing our premises with the Goodwill Secondary School from 12 p.m., 12.30 p.m., one of our graduating students, Tana Valmo, made a great contribution to the school's visibility. She put, participated and won prizes in several essay, art, and poetry competitions locally, regionally, and even internationally. She was also responsible for roping in a group of students to compete too. Hats off to you, Tana. You are a trailblazer. This year, past students significantly increased their support to our students. We have to applaud the selfless giving and show of love by the class of 1987. They provided pastoral care assistance for the entire school year, and they started a mentorship program for some of our at-risk students, which, although in the budding stages, the program is already having an impact. The class of 19, 1984 is also providing great support to our pastoral care efforts. The members of that group, many of whom are based overseas, send items for use by students. They also awarded scholarships to three of our students recently. A group from the class of 1988, led by Mr. Senhouse, has continued with their annual scholarships of five students. And the class of 1991 continued their CSEC scholarships this year, paying the fees for 10 students writing CSEC exams. In addition to these contributions, Past students have responded to our call for graduation awards, and our graduating students will receive their generous gifts today. We say a, thank, a sincere thank you to everyone, and we do look forward to your continued support. It would be very remiss of me if I did not highlight the awesome work put in by our PTA executive, especially Mr. Aina Alexander, the PTA president, who finds time in an extremely busy work schedule to do work for the school. He's a man of many talents, including that of being a builder and plumber. Mr. Jones, Mr. Ofa, and some PTA members, and Mr. Alexander and his family built and did the plumbing for our temporary toilet block in the old wing, which will be used soon. I take this opportunity to say congratulations to our teachers who have achieved academic and professional successes this academic year. Ms. Edith Francois completed a bachelor's degree in French, and Mrs. Annabella Thomas Samuel was the top student in the associate degree program in secondary education at the Dominica State College. My best wishes to other teachers presently in training. I also thank the staff for doing an incredible job in facilitating the learning of our students and in assisting them to be responsible citizens of the world. To everyone else, including the Ministry of Education personnel who assisted in making things work, I say thank you too. To our graduating class, go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you have imagined. Remember, that your actions, your decisions, your choices, your behavior, your strength of character, and a plethora of other factors are going to determine what you get out of life. Make it happen for you by adopting a positive and wholesome attitude. Be God-fearing, respectful and kind, and do not follow the crowd, but rather be your own person, using common sense to make sound decisions. I congratulate you on your achievements thus far, and I encourage you to pursue tertiary, le tertiary level studies as you continue your quest for knowledge. Education empowers you. May the good Lord bless us all. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the graduating class of 2021. 
Honours, Samphaya Alexander, Sarah Francis, Yansun Hiller, Romel Loda, Shanaida Williams. Distinctions Noah Alexander, Danelle Carbon, Kevin James, Terence Tuse, Tanner Valmont. Merits Tanisha Bick, Chanel Bethelmy, Berlin Sherry, Jamalia Guy, Jackson Pascal, Aditunde Powell. Shahid Prosper, Sage Schillingford, Bethany Tuse, Passes, Jordel Adrian, Leon Alexander, Kazayan Andrew. Riquan Andrew, Latricia Baron, Shamari Bob, Alia Bruno, Javon Burton, Ashanti Charles. Chelsea Charles, Destiny Charles, Jabari Charles, Jelani Charles, Latoya Charles, Labrista Cochran. Jadzia Collier, Jali Daru, Rodriguez Deluge, Hezani Dow, Nigel Durand, Alexina Etienne. Simon Eugene, Nesta Francis, Cremon George, Tia George, Sephora Germain, Ajaya Girardel. Zaya Green, Rahim Gregoire, Asha Gist, Ellis Hamilton, Claudine Harris, Xavier Hillier. Malik Hunter, Chaya Isles, Michelle Ismail, Crystal James, Kenya James, Jomesha Baptist. 
Ebony Joseph, Gail Joseph, Desiree Lendor, Kaylin Lestrade, Markel Luge, Mausis Luke, Dylan McGlaw, Jovan Matthew, Shania Maxime, Dequan Newton, Kyron Phillip, Michelle Roberts, Abini Seja, Maya Sylvester, Nian Thomas, Shalina Timothy, and Chad Warrington. Valley Victorian, Rommel Loda. It is an honor to stand here as Valley Victorian of the graduating class of 2021. These past five years at the Dominica Grammar School have been nothing short of a tumultuous roller coaster ride. As I reflect upon the challenges and successes during my time as a student thus far, I ponder on the words of former US President Theodore Roosevelt. Open quote. Nothing worth having comes easy, close quote. Enduring the crests and troughs of adolescence, accompanied by late work-filled nights and early mornings, we have all arrived at this turning point in our lives. While these past years have not been without the challenges, we were determined to see ourselves through to this day. We have experienced more challenges than the average DGS graduating class. First, Hurricane Maria in 2017, and now the COVID-19 pandemic. To say that we have learned nothing, suffered for nothing from these experiences would be short of truth. Hurricane Maria left us fractured as a community and presented as a hindrance to achievement. It was an unforeseen disaster that I'm sure none of us thought would so impact our high school lives. The cancellation of major school activities extracurriculars and even personal socio-economic challenges that year were hardships we sought to overcome. The COVID-19 pandemic, which has deprived us of a proper ceremony, served likewise as a hindrance to our completion of most of our last two years at high school. For us, lucky enough to have classes in person, the experience was masked and distanced and always a small outbreak from all of us being sent home. But today, we reflect on those challenges and appreciate them for the ways in which they've helped us build character, persevere, and craft relationships that will last. Through these and all other trials thus far, our sense of camaraderie and loyalty was established and strengthened this past five years and served as support to us all. All human beings, past, present, and future, crave a sense of community. For us all, it is an inherent need. Our nature leads us to establish relationships between ourselves and others, and for this reason, we are able to be the best vision of ourselves. The community and togetherness we've experienced at the Dominica Grammar School motivated us, nurtured us, and allowed us to be the best we could be. For this, my fellow graduates, my teachers, I am thankful to you. For Without the relationships that we've shared, I would not have been able to achieve this honor today or be able to interpret the world with an open mind. As we celebrate this day together, however far apart, one thing is eternally clear. The relationships we have made, the people we may never forget, have all been part of our journey through these halls. While our experiences at the Dominica Grammar School may not be otherworldly, we share a dedication, attachments, and goals which have defined us as the class of 2021 and will continue to sculpt our lives going forward. 
Our accomplishments would not have been possible without the support, encouragement and care of our parents, our siblings and other family members both far and near. We are truly grateful for all you have contributed to our lives throughout these past five years. I thank my two best friends throughout most at my time at Dominica Grammar School, Janssen and Tana, who made my time unforgettable. We know we could not have arrived at this juncture without the guidance, help and grace extended to us by the teachers, administrators and staff of the Dominica Grammar School. And so we pause to say thank you. The lessons we received at the Dominica Grammar School will no doubt continue to echo in our lives in our coming years. While our formative years are now over, we have much learning to do and much of the world to experience. Now, my fellow graduates, we begin a new era in our lives, one which grants us control. My hope for you all is that the terrain we've traversed thus far, our trials, our victories, will allow us to make the best decisions going forward and benefit us greatly. May we all go on to greater heights and succeed in the years ahead. Thank you. Special Awards Salutatorian Sarah Francis Student of the Year Tana Valmond Honor of the Roosevelt Skerritt Award for Academic Achievement Noah Alexander Mr. Glenn Ducre's Award for Academic Achievement, Aditunde Powell. Mr. Kendall Johnson's Award for Academic Achievement, Samphire Alexander. Mr. Emmy Lancelot Award for Academic Achievement, Janssen Hiller. Dr. Nosima Paul Award for Academic Achievement, Shanida Williams. Dr. Idolin Jones Award for Academic Achievement, Daniel Carbon. Jay's Award for Academic Achievement and Sportsmanship, Sarah Francis. Jay's Award for Discipline, Berlin Cherry. Mr. James Rodney's Award for Responsibility and Dependability, Nadel Henderson. Mr. James Rodney's Award for Determination, Tanisha Beek. Mrs. Alena's Mark Hector's Award for Perseverance, Sarah Francis. Ms. Tamija Jacques Award for Effort and Consistency, Daniel Carbon. Mr. Timothy Sims Award for Effort and Consistency, Samphire Alexander. Maria John Baptist Award for Overcoming Obstacles and Persevering to Achieve Academic Success, Chanel Befelmi. Father Peter Hill, Mr. Ray Francis, and Jonathan Bellot Award for Aspiring Leader, Tana Valmont, and Adi Today, Powell. Schools Award for Service to the School, Tana Valmont, and Adi Tunde Powell. Pigat Inc. Limited Award for Regularity, Jelani Charles. Ms. Ginev Marshall's Award for Regularity, Kenya James. Paula and Kenrick Jajak Award for Punctuality, Shai Prosper, Jabari Charles. Mr. Augustus River Award for Excellent School Spirit, Tanava. Principal's Award for Discipline, Initiative, and Excellent School Spirit, Tana Valmont. Dr. Curtis Benjamin Award for Rising Excellence, Aditundi Powell. Class of 1987 Award for Community Spirit, Tana Valmont. Sadrax Burton Award for Artistic Excellence, Tana Valmont. PTA's Award for Academic Achievement, Tana Valmont. PTA's Award for Conduct and Deportment, Noah Alexander and Nadia Henderson. PTA's Award for Deserving Teacher, 
Mr. Victor Jones. Subject prices. Mrs. Ivonia Luge's price for English language, Berlin Cherry. Mr. Gabriel's Christian Prize for Literature, Chelsea Charles. Miss Kimala Alfred's Prize for French, Yang Sunile. Miss Jasmine Hamilton Prize for Spanish, Shanaida Williams. Mrs. Kalim Parilo's Prize for Mathematics, Tana Valmont. Mr. Simmons Robinson Prize for Mathematics, Noah Alexander. Miss Natasha Jones's Prize for Integrated Science, Shanaida Williams. Domlex Prize for Physics, Romel Loda. Dr. Renia Jeffries Prize for Chemistry, Romel Loda. Dr. Lenora February's Prize for Biology, Romel Loda. Dr. Natalia Luge's Prize for Human and Social Biology, Samphaya Alexander. Mr. Mervyn Anthony's Prize for Information Technology, Daniel Carbon. Dr. Wellsworth Christian Memorial Award for Agricultural Science, Nigel Durand. Mr. Samuel Henderson Prize for Technical Drawing, Daniel Carbon. Mr. Mandela's Andrew Prize for Electricity, Terence Tuse. Resignated Designs Prize for Food and Nutrition and Health, Tanisha Bick. Ms. Shereen Laron's Prize for Family Resource Management, Tanisha Bick. Mr. Kalyan Peters Prize for Wood, Kaziah Green. Mr. Benton White's Prize for Auto Mechanics, Sage Schillingford. The Wasco's Prize for Auto Mechanics, Terence Tuse. Mr. Brent Williams Prize for Physical Education and Sports, Abimi Seja. Mr. Stevenson Hyacin Prize for Visual Arts, Jamalia Guy. Mr. Gabriel Christians and Miss Marita Hyacin Prize for History, Janssen Hiller. Mr. Felix Gregoire Prize for Geography, Romel Luda. Mr. Marcus Francis Price for Social Studies, Sarah Francis. Ms. Colita Hamilton Price for Social Studies, Berlin Cherry. Mr. Ray Francis Price for Principles of Account, Sarah Francis. Mr. Dennison Mitchell Price for Principles of Business, Shanaida Williams. Ms. Marian Isaac Price for Office Administration, Sarah Francis. Mr. Robert Geese Price for Economics, Romel Luda. Fund Prices, from 5-1. AC Schillingford and Company Price for Application, Kevin James. Mr. Charlton Bruni Price for Conduct and Department, Berlin Cherry. Mr. Gerald George's Price for School Spirit, Alexina Etienne. From 5-2, Mr. Brenton Hillier's Price for Application, Aliyah Bruno. Mrs. Daisy Rodney Williams Price for Conduct and Department, Asha Gist. Mr. Edmund Laville's Price for School Spirit, Hezani Dom. From 5-3, Ms. Cassia Davids Price for Academic Excellence, Sarah Francis. Ms. Sharon Philogens Price for Application, Danielle Carbon. 
exquisite event and rental price for conduct and deportment, Shalina Timothy, Mr. Augustus ATM Price for School Spirit, Tana Valmond. From 5 4, Mr. Quentin Gregor's Price for Academic Excellence, Romel Luda, Ms. Daphne Vidal's Price for Application, Shanida Williams, Mr. Felix Wilson Price for Conduct and Deportment, Noah Alexander, Ms. Elisha Hillier Price for School Spirit, Nadel Henderson. Sports Awards. Mr. Alvin Abraham's Award for Sports and Leadership, Adetunde Powell. Mrs. Shannon Hamilton Special Sports Award, Alexina Etienne. Mr. Brendan Williams Award for Male Sports Personality of the Year, Kyron Phillip. And Female Sports Personality of the Year, Abini Session. Mr. Glenn Etienne's Award for Football, Jovan Matthew, and for Netball, Sarah Francis. Mr. Udi John's Award for Basketball, Male, Kyron Phillip, Female, Abini Seja. Timaeus Garraway's Award for Volleyball, Male, Kyron Phillip. Mrs. Shari Pascal Moroni's Award for Most Valuable Volleyball, Female, Alexina Etienne. Mr. Erman Gage's Award for Track and Field, Male, Kyron Phillip. Miss Urania Winston's Award for Track and Field, Female, Abini Seja. Graduating class of 2021, I feel very honored to speak with you all this afternoon. Please allow me the opportunity to thank the principal and staff for selecting me to be your guest speaker. I cannot tell you how many times I've thought about giving this speech. From the moment I became a proud graduate from this beautiful institution 11 years ago, my alma mater, in 2010, I was chosen to deliver the welcome address at our graduating ceremony. It was indeed an honor then too. My graduation will live on in my memory forever, as today will live in yours. I distinctly remember my friends and family's faces filling up with pride and excitement as we all went up on stage to collect our certificates of accomplishments. We were so excited for what the future would hold for us after that day. And as I'm looking back today, I am able to say that I went confidently in the direction of my dreams and I am now on the path to live the life that I imagined. I want to now extend thanks to the organizers of this ceremony for deciding upon such an apt theme. The theme for this year's class of 2021 graduating ceremony is Go confidently in the direction of your dream. Live the life you have imagined. Now I am certain by now that everyone has said to you, congratulations. But allow me as your guest speaker to say to you again, congratulations to you all. Well done on your special achievement. You are indeed a remarkable group of graduates. You must feel very unique. You have written history, and now your names are cemented in the very grounds of this school. I have so much respect for each of you because of your tenure here at Dominica Grammar School. Your time spent here was like no other. It was marked with so much adversity. Let us go back to probably when you were in second and third form, when you survived Hurricane Maria you were presented with many challenges. Our homes were lost, travel was non-existent, and our loved ones could not be reached. Yet this amazing school stood strong 
as a major shelter for victims. That required you to miss school for more than an entire semester. And now, you are graduating in the very heights of the COVID-19 pandemic that has left so many lost loved ones. You've had to learn, you've had to improvise to learn with virtual classes and virtual testing. And even now, you're having the second ever virtual graduation ceremony in Dominica Grammar School's history. You are indeed a historic bunch of graduates. I must also take this time to congratulate the parents and guardians for making this all possible. You have fought valiantly for the success of your children and it has shown in their ability to be here today. I have no doubt that you will reap what you sow as you see your children go out in the world and represent you. And I cannot forget the unsung heroes of this moment, the teachers and staff of the Dominica Grammar School. Your task over the last five years must have been incredibly difficult. Trying to open school while faced with so many challenges with the aftermath of Maria and now keeping school open during this new pandemic. I tip my hat to every one of you. While I was contemplating this theme, the words that stood out to me was confidence, direction, dreams. The theme also required me to remind you all to live the life that you imagine. Whatever your mind conceives, you can achieve. So first, confidence. In this graduating class of 2021, I understand that about half of you are males. I believe that most of you watch sports and hopefully you tuned into the NBA and watched this year's NBA Finals you would have noticed that this year's finals MVP was a player named Yanis Atentokumbo. Let me tell you a bit about his story. Yanis came into the league as an African migrant. He had the physical attributes of an NBA player, meaning he was very tall, but he was underweight. He had talent to match any other NBA player, but his family could not feed him and he could not develop his skills. He became a superstar by working hard day in and day out, but he was still never ever able to make it to the NBA Finals. Yanis had been criticized repeatedly for some major challenges he had. He could not shoot the ball from a distance. He could not pass the ball to his teammates. And worst of all, he was a poor free throw shooter. Now to those of you who watch or play basketball yourselves, you understand that this is a criminal sin in basketball. It is called a free throw for a reason, it is free. You simply stand up under the rim and send the ball in the hoop. There are no defenders guarding you. Yet Yanis could not make his free throws and he was ridiculed for not being able to bring his team to the finals. What led Yanis to victory this year was his supreme confidence in his ability to become the best. Yanis shot 90% of his free throws in his final game in this NBA Finals. And that led him to not only become a champion, but the most valuable player in the NBA Finals this year. So, what is most to be admired by Yanis will be his confidence. What is confidence? Confidence is defined by the Merriam-Webster dictionary as the feeling or consciousness of one's power over one's own circumstances. Graduates, confidence is a skill and I use the word skill intentionally. If you learn it, you master it, you will all be champions. Graduates, you have reached the end of your high school life. You are all champions. You most certainly had doubts that you would not have succeeded. I'm sure times under pressure from schoolwork, Maria, and now the COVID and pandemic, you have felt powerless under your circumstances. 
But here you are. You studied hard. You overcame adversity. And now your family is proud of you. And you are pleased with yourself. Your school is proud of you and your achievements. Now I promised myself today that I would not sound cliche. But I have to say, this is just the beginning of your journey. All of you should continue on to tertiary level education at the Dominica State College. But success still does not end there. Consider furthering your studies abroad, at a university level, or developing a trade. Whatever you dream, go confidently in that direction. If you believe you can be a business person, then you can be a business person. If you believe you'll be a football star, then you can be a football star, just practice. If you believe that you can be a teacher, then you can be one of the heroes today that shape the minds of our future tomorrow. Whatever your mind believes, you can achieve. Next is direction. Now, not many of you know of the author J.K. Rowling and her story. What you might know is that she has a series of books called the Harry Potter book series. Now, this series of books has been estimated to have sold close to 400 million copies. It is the best-selling book series in the entire world. What you don't know is that J.K. Rowling was rejected by 12 major publishing houses in the UK. At the, at the time that her first book was accepted, J.K. Rowling was a single mother to a newborn while managing on welf welfare. She was broke. And to top it all off, she was battling with depression. A mental struggle that many of us face time and time again. Many publishers asked her to consider changing parts of her book. But this writer was a stubborn writer. And she determined quite early the direction she wanted her book to take. She drew a life map. She persevered and overcame every hurdle in her path. But in the beginning of her journey, not many persons believed in her. Many publishers rejected her manuscript. But eventually, she only needed one person to believe in her. Believe in her direction. And now the rest is history. The fantasy that J.K. Rowling imagined, the whole world got to live and experience. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Graduating class at this time of your life, you probably already know the direction you want your life to lead. But let me offer you a few tips on the journey ahead. You only need one person to believe in you. It would be a lot easier if that person is yourself. Your attitude determines your altitude, your direction. And perseverance is failing seven times and getting up eight. Lastly, to this graduating class, I want you to imagine. Can you imagine what your life will look like in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years? I told you at the start of this speech about my life 11 years ago when I graduated. But let us take an earlier look to 15 years ago and probably the real reason I was chosen for this speech today. 15 years ago, I was in first and second of, or second form. I was a disruptive student. I caused mischief with my classmates and oftentimes we decided to rebel against the school. Sometimes it felt like every week I was in a fight. And I'm sure many teachers here today can testify that they remember disciplining me at one point or another during my tenure at the grammar school. At the end of third form, however, I was forced to make a decision because by that time, persons were tired of the behavior. My favorite teachers, like my like deputy principal, Ms. John Kerr, and our past principal, Mr. Joseph, and our current principal, Mrs. Jaja, 
I'm sure they wondered if all the time and effort that they placed in me, if it would ever pay off. Would I ever be a good student, an upstanding student? So eventually, after much lecturing and consulting by them, I eventually had to make better decisions. And I chose subjects that kept me occupied full time at school. I got closer to the right type of friends who motivated me in a better direction. And by fifth form, I was elected as the deputy head boy of this remarkable institution. At graduation, I graduated as the student of the year on recommendation of both the principal and staff. But it did not end there. 11 years later, I have successfully graduated from the medical school in Cuba. I went later to Jamaica to work as a medical officer. There, I completed my Caribbean Medical Board examinations, which entitles me to work anywhere in the Caribbean region. And this year, just this year, my fiance and I, we welcomed our beautiful baby boy, Kobe Jonathan Benjamin. I imagined the life that I wanted for myself, and I was able to confidently go in that direction. So graduates, as I leave you today, I just want to encourage you to go with confidence, persevere with direction, and continue to imagine living your dream. Each one of you today have shown remarkable resilience. You have risen above the challenges and are each champions. Thank you. Students, parents, teachers, principal, warm greetings to all. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. I congratulate you on your achievement and extend warm commendation to your parents, teachers and principal who have supported you along your secondary school journey. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this important activity. As you graduate, you have been admonished to go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you have imagined. Living your best life will be dependent on the choices you make, which will impact your future. You will be expected, therefore, to commit to your personal development and work hard to achieve the goals you have set for yourselves. The choices you make will ultimately determine how successful or unsuccessful you are in achieving these goals. My word to you, therefore, is that you are mindful of the attitudes that lend themselves to your attainment of excellence. A positive attitude can serve as your ticket to success. Self-confidence, respect, tolerance, persistence, responsibility, generosity, and gratitude. All these can place you on a sound footing in both your personal and professional relationships and help you to build mutual beneficial ties that place you on the path to success. As you graduate, you will also be set with unsettling challenges. You leave secondary school in the middle of a pandemic as your country currently grapples with COVID-19. We are confronted with news of earthquakes, devastating hurricanes, and the outcome of war. Some of these issues may be weighing on your minds as you leave the relative haven of secondary school. I encourage you, however, to allow these challenges in your world to serve as a motivational force. Consider how you can empower yourselves to make the changes needed to change the course of civilization and improve the circumstances of your fellow citizens. I strongly believe that young people hold the key to an improved world through determined action and advocacy, and I urge you to take on your responsibility as a world citizen head on. As government, we are cognizant of the intense fast-paced nature of the developments in the world and the abundance of possibilities that a song education provides. Therefore, we are consistently providing the best environment for students and teachers alike to flourish. Government's wish is that every Dominican student would learn in the best possible educational climate. 
How are we in the Ministry of Education playing a role to help you shape your circumstances? More students than ever before now have the opportunity for secondary and tertiary education. Students have access to timely and reliable transportation to and from school and other safety nets, including meals and snacks at school for the economically disadvantaged. In support of our students who are marginalized economically, the government of Dominica also makes available textbooks, school supplies, uniforms, and exam fees through the Education Trust Fund and the textbook scheme. Many students are beneficiaries of government's assistance through the ministries of education and social services. With the support of friendly governments, the government of Dominica has assisted many students in attaining a university education. All these interventions are designed to ensure that our students are given the best opportunities to learn in supportive environments. You can be assured that these will continue to benefit you and your peers. It is important on this occasion to recognize the sterling contribution of your principal and teachers who have toiled in their relentless quest to prepare you for the road ahead in your lives. These are the foot soldiers who go into our classrooms day in, day out to prepare you for the successful lives. Their impact on your life is unquestionable and unmatched. I also recognize the contribution of your parents and guardians who have made significant contributions towards your success. Without their attentiveness and care over the years, you would not have made it thus far. So be forever grateful for the presence and dedication of those who have guided you through this important phase of your lives. As you move on to the next stage of your development, I charge you to set your goals high as you relentlessly pursue your life dreams. Do not be overcome by negativity or allow yourselves to be broken by the challenges of your time. Align yourself with those who will inspire you and open your mind to the vast possibilities that life holds. Always give the Almighty his due and remain faithful. And in this time of COVID-19, be a responsible citizen. Do not think only of yourself, but think of those around you. If you are of age, get vaccinated against COVID-19. And please, in these times, continue to observe the health protocol as we ensure that we keep ourselves safe and we also keep those around us safe. Go out there impact your world positively and make good news. I wish you well. God bless you. Jesus loves you and I love you too. Congratulations. The principal, staff and the graduating class of 2021 express sincere gratitude to the following institutions and people for their support. DGS PTA, Archipelago Trading Limited, National Bank of Dominica, Domlek, Tawasco, Jays Limited, Josephine Gabriel and Company Limited, the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, Mr. Ray Francis, Mr. Kendall Johnson, Mary and Marcus Francis, Dr. Nozima Paul, Ms. Tammy Jajak, Ms. Alicia Hiller, Father Peter Hill, Mr. Jonathan Bellot, Mr. Gabriel Christian, Dr. Natalia Lugay, Dr. Gil Chris Burton, Mr. Mervyn Anthony, Mr. Felix Gregoire, Mr. Seymour Robinson, Mrs. Ivonia Lugay, Brother Augustus Rivera, Mr. Alvin Abraham, Mrs. Shanna Hamilton, Mr. Denison Mitchell, Miss Mariana Isaac, Miss Colita Hamilton, Miss Cassia David, Mr. Robert Gist, Mrs. Daisy Rodney Williams, Mrs. Urania Winston Maxime, Mr. Charlton Bruni, AC Schillingford and Company Limited, Miss Shereen Laronde, Mr. Shadrach Burton, 
Mr. Benton Wyke, Mr. Glenn Zucre, Dr. Idaline John, Mr. Quentin Gregoire, Mr. Stevenson Hyacinth, Mr. James Rodney, Ms. Daphne Vidal, Mr. Emil Lancelot, Dr. Cathy Benjamin, Mr. Augustus Etienne, Ms. Martha Alexander, Picat Inc. Limited, Mr. Glenn Etienne, Dr. Renier Jeffrey, Dr. Lenora Fevrier Drago, Class of 1998, Mr. Kendall Johnson, Ms. Kimala Alfred, Ms. Alena Mark Hector, Ms. Tammy Jajak, Ms. Genève Marshall, Mr. Timothy Sims, Mr. Brendan Williams, Mrs. Kalim Parilo, Mr. Yudi John, Mr. Timmy Yes Garraway, Mrs. Shari Pascal Maroney, Mr. Imran Gage, Mr. Edmund Laville, Mr. Brenton Hillier, Mr. Gerald George, Exquisite Event and Rentals, Mr. Callion Peters, go again, Exquisite Events and Rental, Mr. Callion Peter, Paula and Kenrick Jajak, Mrs. Jasmine Hamilton, Miss Marita Hyacinth, and Resonated Designs. The greatest, the greatest, the greatest of all builders wrought with his mighty hands all that we see around us in sky and sea and land. The mansion he made was perfect, nor could it be otherwise. He from his deep foundation made visible with patience a school for human eyes. Look then upon this building, and emulate his deed unto his greater glory, evil from this all creed. The mansion he made was perfect, nor could it be otherwise. He from his deep foundation made visible with patience a school for human eye. When childhood days are over, fare forth to wider law building. On this the old school spirit cross men forevermore. The mansion he made was perfect, nor could it be otherwise. He from his deep foundation made visible with patience a school for you.